Alright, so they get the Warlord Horde. I'm just so jealous. I've never gotten a Warlord Horde before. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Auction Sivir. I'm pretty excited about this one. We are playing Mono Sharima. It's going to be our second auction deck. And I think this one's going to do well. Uh, we are, yeah, like I said, we're going to be playing Mono Sharima um, with our, our new champion. We're going to have our quick attack champions. The reason to go Mono Sharima is that we get Golden Ambassador, 4 mana Allegiance card, 3-2, um, that draw a champion and grant it plus 2, plus 2. So having 7-5 Sivers, kind of amazing, but then also 4-4 four, four Auction for 2 mana, also really, really good. We're going to be trying out this new Absolver card uh, to be able to give something overwhelm like give sivir overwhelm and then give everything else overwhelm we're gonna have two of this new card the current vagabond be able to be kind of like another auction of like creating that warlord's palace um you know or advancing it if we got it so we're gonna try out a couple of those and uh yeah we're off siphoning strikes to help grow our champions um you know rune runner and the sivir with the spell shield bruiser making the lucky finds be able to have more ways to target stuff and also just being being a good 5-5 body and getting some more keywords like on Sivir. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited about this. I think this this is going to be a good deck. It's just filled with kind of good cards everywhere. I think Quicksand is really good right now against Zeds and Auctions and all sorts of different stuff. I think Quicksand's a really valuable card as far as an interaction spell. And uh, let's see. And that's kind of about it. All right, so I got one Buried Sun Disc in here, and this is kind of something a little cheeky that uh, I wanted to do. And the reason to play Buried Sun Disc is because the start of the game, we will draw it, and therefore uh, we'll have 39 cards left for the rest of the deck. So this is allowing me to kind of um, uh, bypass the rules of having to play 40 cards. We'll basically just have 39 because we'll just draw this thing right away. Will it do anything? No. Will we ever play it? Probably not. We could play it to, to enable Shapestone if we need, you know, like if we have an extra mana and we want to, we can do that to enable Shapestone. But we don't really ever have to play this card. Um, but yeah, so it's going to let us play 39 cards. And, and you're like, well, what? why is that a, a big deal? It's because that just gives us a, a smaller percent chance of having our champions, our, our curving out with our auction and our sivir and stuff like that, right? It just takes that one card away that you won't have to worry about drawing it. And you'll just have, uh, you know, like these these cards that are pretty broken ruin runner sivir merciless hunter treasure seeker our other champion auction we'll just have like those cards more often because there's just like one card that's not any of those amazing cards that's just out of our deck so um yeah so there we go so that's going to be the reason why i'm playing that sun disc i think it could be pretty cool and i'm excited about this all shirima auction sivir deck so let's go play five games in ranked and looks like we also are going to be playing against Auction Sivir, but they are going to be Splash and Ionia for something. And that's the thing, is like you can always find another region to Splash if you want. I kind of like this whole hand. Like the Quicksand's good against the Auction. Um, alternatively, we can do some mulliganing and look for our champions. Like Quicksand's not going to help against Sivir, for example, right? Because we're never going to get rid of Spell Shield. But it is good against both Auction and Merciless Hunter. Should I be keeping you? Maybe I'll mulligan you as well. Alright. Yazuvu, what's up? Thank you. Welcome, welcome. Alright, so we start with that Buried Sun Disc in hand. And of course, we're not playing it. We'd rather have the mana for Shapestone, right? Like, don't just like spend a mana on this. I guess I challenge... Nah. We can challenge that with, like, Sivir or something later. Auction. I do not break rules. I bend them slightly. I don't need rules to know good from bad. Steady now. Right. 
right, Arda? Nothing's lost. It's just waiting to be found. And you won't believe what we found today. Watch me! Yeah, Sivir's gonna be really tough to deal with. I just I don't have any ways to get rid of the spell shield. I kinda need Merciless Hunter for Sivir, but I just used my Merciless Hunter. I would love for them to make that block. No, go back, make that block. Do it. That's too bad. Hopefully no merciless hunters over there. Must be nice living off stolen coin. Okay. We live in hollow times. Cool. So I can just play seven five sivir instead of five three sivir next round. We'll see which one of us is stronger, Akshan. Have we met? Go get the shiny dog. Danger pays. I will run you over. We got it first. Hmm. Talk is worthless. We are what we do. So they did a better job leveling up. All that is mine. Ideally, I'd be able to Siphoning Strike and kill their auction. And, you know, like with Sivir, Siphoning Strike. Like, that would be, like, the best possible thing. But if they just have a barrier, which is kind of likely, that's the thing. Barriers are like the thing that you need in like these these matchups. I mean, so they could have barrier or deny. Yeah, Ionia. Ionia like they play the lifesteal barrier, so they got barrier or deny. I mean, I guess I go for it. The world won't yeah, it still just takes the barrier out of their hand. Worst case scenario, you know, they counter it. But best case scenario, they don't counter it, and then that's really good for me. Yeah, they have ancient hourglass. Yeah, there's the barrier. I was definitely I was definitely considering just flashing barrier in this this version, but decided to go you know decided to go all Sharima, but that oh, that barrier card's really good. Business as usual. Right, but, but at least we got that out of their hand. Oh, there we go. That quicksand's good. See, that's that's why we're playing quicksand. That quicksand's good here. Arda's gonna make a meal of them. I wish I could play three mana ricochet. It's a living. Drowning our cheers. So I do have a backup sever. Um, I guess it's worth it though. Now get their card out of their hand. Assume they have another pump spell, but maybe not. Ooh, they don't. Oh, well, that's pretty big. So cool. We we baited the twin disciplines out of out of them here. Alright, GG's. So just kind of got their barriers and stuff out of their hand and twin disciplines. Especially in this world of like pump spells and stuff, really like Luxian. Now, it won't be good against Lee Sin as much, but it could get rid of an Overwhelm from a Lee Sin. I don't know, do you just keep Ruin Runner and just go Hunter, Sivir, Ruin Runner? Nah. No, I don't want to keep a 5-mana card. Yeah, I don't think we want to keep a 5-mana card. If you have a choice, which one do you want to Prismatic? Ruin Runner or Merciless Hunter? 
I would probably say go with the Merciless Hunter. I may have to just play this Sun Disk just to enable the Shape Stone. Good people don't look the other way. I don't want to. Watch your head. I'd have to do it this round because we're going to be going Hunter into Sivir. Basically, basically, you can think of it as us spending two mana on the Shape Stone. I guess spending an extra mana for that plus two plus one. I guess that's worth it. Plus, the other positive thing about Sun Disk that I didn't mention, besides us only playing a 39 card deck and therefore having these, this fantastic four more often. The other thing is it confuses the opponent, and they're like, what are you doing? You like it? I mean, shut up and fight! So that's the other really cool thing about it. Villains beware. All right, so they have Shape Stone. This one's a fighter. The question is, like, do I trade Hunter for Shape Stone? Probably not, no. Yeah, the, the deck thinning part is the only reason why I'm putting it in the deck, so I can play 39. I can cheat the system. Nothing's lost. It's just waiting to be found. And you won't believe what we found today. Wow, they just hit the very best possible. Alright, so they get the Warlord's Horde. I'm just so jealous. I've never gotten a Warlord's Horde before. This is our second straight auction opponent. I guess our last one didn't, but second Lee Sin auction opponent that has gotten out. Alright, so they're down to three cards. We got a Sivir in play. What is gained when he returned malevolence? Deep meditation, super good. Seeing tombs, towns, and everything in between. Doing this to get the draggling. So obviously they're going to be playing multiple spells. That'll do it, and getting that thing a barrier. I fight with the dragon fury. Okay, so I gotta do 16 to level this thing up. What? I thought I challenged that. What happened? Oh no! I thought I challenged that. Yeah, I undid the attack and then it went back and I didn't put it back again. Oh man. Completely cost me this. Our 
enemies cannot hide. Trisanta your spirit. Man, I can't believe I just did that. I don't need rules to know good from bad. Can't believe I did that. I know where the trouble is. It's never too far. Nothing's lost. It's just waiting to be found. Do it correctly this time. We laugh at them. Ha! Man, that was that was kind of quiet after that. Man, that was really, um, really embarrassing, but. Giving everything Overwhelm and Spell Shield can still make up for a bad mistake like that. Jarvan Shen. Jarvan, as we talked about, one of the best champions. This is how you get through Spell Shield. Attacking with barriers. Barriers in general very good. So I love Quicksand in this matchup because of how good the barriers are, right? Quicksand helps take down Jarvan. Um, I guess I'm going to just mulligan the second Sivir, but I'm going to keep the others. Alright, let's keep the spell mana. So I don't have not too many spells besides that that quicksand. Let's, go. Let's start with this so we get the, just the countdown going. So I'm guessing that card's single combat that they thought about playing but then didn't play. So I think card number four is single combat. Ooh. The fate of mortals and spirits falls to me. Yeah, so I guess if it is single combat. Yeah, Shape Stone plus Siphoning Strike won't work. I kinda think I just let the auction die, honestly. The world won't save itself, you know. I kind of think that's my best play is let auction die. I know what I'm worth. So I go. Intruders! Nature blesses her followers. And try to kill Shen. Yeah, we still strike. You still strike the barrier. You strike for zero damage, but does count as a strike? Thought so. Yep. So no sharp sight in hand, but single combat. And you, we could tell they didn't have sharp sight for how they challenged as well. Business as usual. See, maybe I should just be playing the second Sivir and hold on to that quick scene because of how valuable it is. With how good barriers are. Oh, yeah, because they're just going to challenge my Sivir anyway, but I guess. Awesome. Love having another quick scan. The balance requires a watchful eye. 
Yeah. Pressure's on them. Ooh, how about that? How about that? Okay. Because, yeah, I'm still going to have both Shapestone and Quicksand available. All right, predict draw card. I mean, if that Siphoning Strike was good, gotta think another Siphoning Strike would be good. But, is that better than getting something else? Is that better? Siphoning Strike better than a random card? Yeah, probably. Plus two, plus two for the champions is pretty valuable. Out here, you're moving or you're dead. So we're just one Sivir attack away from leveling up. It's a living. I don't think they realized that Sivir was going to level up. Especially for how quickly they made that block. Don't think they realize that. Oh, we get the bruiser. So what is their hand? So their hand single combat. Their hand must be like more like denies and concerted strike and stuff like that. Especially, yeah, I bet they have. I bet they're holding denies and nopifies. Well, no, because if they had denied, they would have denied the siphoning strike. Hmm. Maybe nopifies. Oh, they had a scattered pod. Enlightened. I have a elusive. Okay. Scatterpod, cool. I want to try just getting an additional plus two, plus two for my champions. Cool. Steal from the rich and give to the us. Yeah, so it's it's a basically it's a scatter pod will draw a random spell that's not a focus spell. The real treasure is How they have that? I, I wonder if they the they could maybe just like make it say non-focus spell. It could just be a random spell. Oh, we're playing against Viego first time today. Playing against Viego. We were 0 2 against Viego yesterday with my opponent playing a lot of Viegos. So I think it would be better if my opponent doesn't draw Viego. Oh man, they got the Viego sleeves already. The Viego card back. Alright, so we go Rock Hopper into Vagabond into Ambassador. That's not necessarily that bad. Maybe into another Ambassador. It's very slow. They're, they got probably a slow hand, too. Have a good day at work, Nasher. Um, the. The deck list is right here. And there's a button to copy the code over from that. Would you look at this place? And we'll see. Like, I'm keeping, like, a bunch of cards that aren't the champions. So this could be... You know, it could definitely be a mistake. Could regret it then that I should have smulled in more and found champions. But the, the ambassadors do draw the champions and buffed up champions. So that's kind of cool. Must be nice living off stolen coins. I'll get the Warlord's Palace started. Buried Sun Disk is in here to allow me to play 39 cards instead of 40. Get to just play my, my, you know, just playing less cards means you draw those better cards more often. So you're just going to have an auction and a sivir and that kind of stuff a little bit more often. No! Why do they always have Viego round five? Oh, well, it was a good game. Both teams played hard. Heroes go hungry. And I beckon. Make it worth my while. I could definitely see trading there. Take eight. This pay by the hour. Oh, 
So basically, I didn't... Um, like, I went ahead and traded, because, like, we're, we're going to draw a lot of cards. But I didn't want them to get these and get, like, the free 1-1s one or anything. Uh, if it's made of sand, I can write it. I could have gone with the Absolver. I thought about doing that, but decided not to. But I could have gone with the Absolver and, um, you know, had one of these other things trade. No, how do they have more? My queen. Okay, I can't attack now. I can't even do the challenge because then they get an encroaching miss, and that's really bad for me. Need to draw a siphoning strike to kill that thing. Bask in the sunlight. Blit. Your time and cycle is done. All right, so I've already had something die. I will run you over. Move. We've got things to do. Be consumed by the black mist. I have not seen auction with LeBlanc yet. No. I don't need rules to know good from bad. Twenty-eight out of thirty. Oh. I yeah yeah okay well that thing's leveled up. I should have done so much blocking. I don't exactly have a very good plan here. As usual. All right, let's see if we get there with the overwhelm. Wait, what happened? Oh, it has to be leveled up first! Oh, why don't I read cards? Right. Yeah, Tolly Zoo, that's what I was thinking too. How you said the Overwhelm gets there, that's what I was thinking too. My fee just went up. <laughs> Absolver. You only create this if you've leveled a champion. So I, you know, whenever I cast it, it was before the champion was leveled. Man, that game was just a whole bunch of mistakes by me. From just, just new cards of just... Yeah, you missed that text too. Yeah. So I need to... Uh, Alright. I need to pay more attention to stuff. <laughs> this game's really hard. But I, you know, I'm learning. Hopefully the everybody out there is learning as well. So yeah, I gotta be able to do that afterwards. Uh, like, the, the Viego really needs to not have that Viego level up. And so I need to take more damage and not block every single thing. I don't know exactly how much I need to not block and kill to have that Viego level up, but I couldn't have let that Viego level up. Yeah, these cards, you know, these cards uh, takes a little bit to, to learn stuff, right? Like it, it takes mistakes, and that's the thing. Is like it's I make a lot of mistakes with new cards, and if you do, it's okay. You know, new new cards take some getting used to and take some learning from the mistakes. Eric action. I'm gonna keep one golden ambassador. I thought I was gonna get there with the uh, with the overwhelm. I definitely really like having the quicksand in this matchup. Very happy about that. Watch me. 
these things are just going to be trading anyway. I'm just going to take the trade, I guess. The reason why to take the trade is for um, leveling up Sivir, but then if I then I just let them play that option. All right, well, taking the trade definitely did not work out. That's what that's what playing uh, card games is. Make mistakes, learn from them, rinse, repeat. Business as usual. I don't need rules to know. All right, so my opponent is a much better auction player than I am. Remember, we played the auction tarot deck yesterday. We never had two auctions ever. I talked about how you kind of need that second auction for the palace. So they are a better auction player than us. Because of Bastion, I don't want to use the Siphoning Strike, but I do want to kind of keep this Quicksand available and just see if that helps us out. Okay, so they can't have Bastion anymore. Got a lizard and a shovel. So I don't know exactly how they're stopping this now, with the shape stone back up. We laugh at death. Ha! Cool. Get more cards out of their hand. And very good thing I didn't just play the quicksand and block, because if I quicksand block, then they just play those other things and buff it back up. So I thought that that, that siphoning strike was going to be the much safer play. Um, I liked the deck though. I liked I liked our deck. I I definitely made some mistakes against the Viego deck, which was our only loss. But four and one, right? You can't complain about that. Quicksand was huge. That was really important against these barriers that people are playing, like the Jarvins and stuff. The Absolver, when played correctly, was really good, helping us get a win with the overwhelm on the Sivir. And Sharima just kind of has everything that you need. And Golden Ambassador. Really, a really nice card to have access to. Drawing the champion, granting it plus two, plus two. You know, just helping find your champ, you know, more um, of your champions with how good both the champions, especially Sivir, are. So I really like this list. And, you know, we got to play 39 cards. So we got to do that cool thing with the Buried Sun Disc to help it, us uh, have our champions more. Yeah, four and one. You know, a lot better. Yesterday we played auction, our first auction deck, we went 0 and 5. Second auction deck, four and one. That's a big difference. Um, so, yeah, you know, maybe, you know, Viego is going to be really difficult to beat. And, like, that's what, that's like a big reason why I'm playing Siphoning Strike to try to help kill Viego. Man, this, this Shapestone card is kind of ridiculous, though. I would not be surprised at all if this gets nerfed to plus two, plus one instead of plus three, plus one. Anyway, um, yeah, as, as far as anything to change, you could definitely take out a Preservarium. Yeah, you could do that. Uh, Preservarium is going to be more for your like your removal heavy decks. You know, playing against like a, a Karma Ezreal or a Swain deck or you know things like that, where you're going to be playing a long game. You want those Preservariums, but you know the Sun Disc is half a Preservarium by itself. If you want to remove a Preservarium, you can. Options: um, Ancient Hourglass. I like that as a one of. Um, I also like uh, the Ride of Negation as a one of. Those are a couple options. Ride of Negation is just really bad against other Sivir decks, which is why I don't have it in here. But you can play that. You could play one Bakai Sand Spinner, but like our four mana slots are are like they're they're already kind of full with Ambassador and Sivir. But there are other good four mana cards. Sand Spinner, Profiteer, Profiteer is really nice. Um, you can have one copy of of one of those. I don't know how good Grappling Hook is. Just don't really know. 
Um, but then otherwise you can have Ruthless Predator or you know, even Chronomancer just being a two drop with Predict isn't bad. I think I would if you would replace the Preservarium, I would probably go for an hourglass with like just like these different challengings and stuff and like they you know, they merciless hunter your sivir and challenge it with a sivir and you can save it with an hourglass. I think that's what I would probably play if you want to remove a preservarium. Um, yeah, Shapestone is ridiculous with Quick Attack. Yeah, it is pretty bonkers. And we saw there that Shapestone with the Siphoning Strike was really important. Multiple times, like twice I like try to Siphoning Strike stuff. They use their pump spells to buff it up and then I uh, have my one mana left with the Shapestone. And it's kind of perfect to just like round one, don't play stuff. You get your one mana for your Shapestone for later. Also Exhaust. Exhaust is another good one of absolutely incredible with with quick attack with sivir with auction stuff like that like exhaust also very good um and that exhaust can honestly give you like another way to help try to kill a uh, viego maybe so that's those are those are some different options for some one ofs like exhaust hourglass ride of negation i think it'd probably be one of those if you want to take out a preservarium all right but that's going to be it here for auction sivir so those y'all watching later on youtube Hit that like button over there and feel free to leave those comments. Hopefully y'all really enjoyed this one. Mono Sharima, get to play a Buried Sun Disc deck, right? You know, people are asking what's the best Buried Sun Disc deck. Well, you know, maybe this is it. <laughs> it's, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Uh, but yeah, you get your Golden Ambassador, your Siphoning Strike, some cool cards like that. All right, but that's going to be it here for Auction Siver. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.